right. Glad to be covering in another tight or I almost said titano fork. Uh tube fork. Right? Because because I'm pretty busy today and I woke up, you know, pretty early as usual, right? But no, actually you no, know, I woke up around six thirty, seven AM. I got a really nice sleep, you know. If you don't really care about forgiving your parents and doing a silent prayer every morning, every night, as Jesse Lee Pearson always tells you you should do, right? If you want to no longer be crazy and return to God. Uh, you know, if you have trouble sleeping at night, doing the silent prayer at night actually gives you really good sleep, right? I have, like, light earplugs, and I put, like, a little, like, sleeping jogging band around my eyes and my ears so the earplugs don't fall out of my ears, right? And it's a very comfortable sleep. I, I you know, I, I, I've not had it. I don't have too many problems with sleeping anymore, unless I eat so much food during the day that I have too much energy, and then I wake up too much, right? But, you know, that, that doesn't happen. Not very often. In fact, I don't remember. Maybe it only happened maybe once or twice this year so far. All right? Because obviously I'm trying to lose weight <laughs> badly. So uh, here's a new project uh, called Repath Finance. I think I just simply saw this when I was just browsing Tomb Forks, right, on uh, XYZ here. And I just saw this. I was like, oh, okay, well, whatever. Let me just, just ran. I just randomly kind of pick one because I also look at the. I don't know why the icons here are so small. Even when I. Even, I mean, I have to zoom in like crazy. Ooh, okay. So we are now at 100%. It's still too small. I don't know why this thing is so small. Anyway, I just got. I guess God just told me to just click this one at random. So I did. So uh, here we are. <laughs> that's, that's literally all that it is, right? I just have no plan. Okay, whoa, whoa, this used to be, whoa, did it just dump? Oh, yeah, it just dumped, yeah, okay. Well, uh, I don't know, I'm going to have to actually leave this 15 minutes, because this launched yesterday. Okay, so this literally, right before I hit the record button, this was $202. Now it's, like, down to this, and as you can see, yeah, and then I don't know why I'm getting conflicting numbers on the base peg token, because here it says it's worth $2.30. This thing says... Not that amount. Like, I don't know what I'm looking at here. So there's also confusion. All right, but at least their documentation page does say it's supposed to be paid one-to-one -one with net, whatever the hell net is. So, okay. All right, well, uh, there's actually not a lot of buying activity here at all. It's all buying. All right, what is going on here with this? So obviously, I'm not going to be investing in this project, like, at all, because, A, it looks like it's on the, uh, you know, the standard, you know, going to dump. I haven't checked for a smart APR system, which, of course, we're going to do live on stream. Uh, number two, it's on a new blockchain. I don't have to deal with it because that usually means I have to get money from Hotbit, change it around, a big pain in the ass, put in all the, you know, codes and whatever to confirm that I really am who I say I am so it's not a hacker scammer. And then send it to this stupid thing. It's like, you know what? I don't want to freaking deal with it. And then I got to add all the tokens. It's like, you know what? I don't want to deal with this. All right? But I can't remember. Metas is the new block, up-and-coming blockchain, right? So eventually, you know, I'll probably have to do some. If it's that popular, I'm sure x -Pollinate, You know, in fact... Why, Brave? Why? Well, I guess they have to... Man, it's... X pollinate the, you know, I really better make sure I get the real one because I don't want like some fake scamming little shithead hacking my computer here. All right, this is the real one. Yeah, that's what I thought, but I really have to make sure. All right, connect my wallet, MetaMask. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, just let me in. All right, so what am I connected to as right now? I am on Menace. Do they have Metis here? No, they don't. Not yet, anyway. Okay. All right. Well, see, that's another thing. All right. If, but if it gets that popular, it would probably show up on X Pollinate. So, all right. Anyway, I don't know. Okay. So this thing is saying it's supposed to be paid one to one to net, but this thing is saying it's two point thirty one. Like this doesn't look correct to me. Like there's something wrong with this. So I, I don't know what's going on here. But this price is actually updating correctly. This price. I don't know, there's something not right with this. So already that's a slight red flag. And I say slight because maybe it's just some kind of uh, coding error. Because for whatever reason, I mean, no one's really selling this. So, I don't know. 
Let's see, current epoch says two. So this, so the war room does appear to already be uh, printing, all right? Assuming it's not like Peg Maker, where right now they renounce all the stupid contracts too fast, as always, and now there's a bug, the war room don't work, which is very annoying, and then, you know, they have to do a version two, which is why it's tanking. It's actually very stable now, I think. I have to check the price again, but I'm actually going to hold it through version two because this guy actually is doing it correctly. Everyone else has all, like, every pro, like Zilla Finance and Snow Tomb. I wasn't there for when Zone, Snow Tomb had to do version 2.0, but this guy seems to know what they're do, he's doing, right? They've got like a team of like two or three developers. They're literally going to airdrop everything. So basically, there's just not really much you have to do. That's the perfect way to do it. And of course, it'll be one to one. So, you know, all the other freaking previous projects had to redo the whole code and then you have to change all the tokens around. They didn't even bother with an airdrop. It was very annoying. So that's probably why the price is much more stable too because th that is the best way to do it for every single kind of reason you can think of. It's the fairest, the fastest, and whatever. Well, I'm talking about peg maker. So that was just a quick little update in case, you know, anyone got into that. So, all right, so, so far what I like is circulation probably doesn't seem to be too bad, but that problem, yeah, so we'll have to see what the documentation says. Uh, what do we want to start with first? Because we already kind of already kind of know what's happening with the shares, right? It's just going to keep uh, dropping. Wow, Jesus, that's, uh, that's pretty, uh, <laughs> that's quite a bit. All right, so first thing we want to look for is obviously there's only one thing that I care about, which is, of course, smart APR system. So let's hope they were at least nice enough to write this down. Oh, allocations. Okay, so... What? Uh, okay, there's a total supply of 490,000. Metis blockchain rewards over 365 days. We got 85,000 repath. So that's their shares. They got the DAO team allocation over one year as well. And then for multi-chain deployment, they're they're not minted just yet. Locked by time lock contract. There's the remaining ones. So basically, 85,000 shares over one year. Uh, okay. Let me see. Nothing here. Let's see, the farm, uh, it doesn't print much below 1.0, doesn't tell me the inflation rate, so you probably have to assume it's 4.5%. I mean, the simple fact that this thing is this, this lazy basically already tells me, uh, here they start at 11,000. Okay, so they started at 11,000, now there's 14. Thousand Pepegas after two epochs, assuming that worked. So yeah, we're looking at four and a half to five percent easily, maybe a little more. Yeah, so this thing has a very high boardroom inflation rate. So already I'm not liking this. All right, but it's not it's not it's not the end of the world either. So all right, so now I gotta do as usual the what does the twop here say? Let me see if we can at least figure out what this says. The TWAP says 2.3102. Okay, so for some reason, so their documentation is already off, right? They're, they're artificially inflating this, which is fine by me because you, you really need to keep this stupid circulating supply up anyway. So I don't know. This is, this is, this is clumsy. This is already clumsy, which is not good. All right, so right now you can earn 62.59%. Wait. This is the sh great. They do the stupid shit again where they reverse everything again. Oh, God, now, this is the shares. So the share LP pool is paying you 62.59%. And funny enough, it's tied to Metis. Uh, TVL 20,500. Uh, okay, and this thing is completely different. Now it's repped net, whatever net is. Okay, so I think it might be using smart APR. 14.3%. Okay, you know what? I'm going to have to open up both of these idiots here. So just give me a second while I open up the Pepegas. Okay, so we got 14.3%, 112.4 thousand TVL. So obviously enough people think it's good enough. So I guess they'll just stay there. So let's see. That's a very large amount of money. In fact, the shares are... You know, I don't even think this is correct. 
Because didn't the shares just die here? All right, it's now like a crazy price. Well, I mean, this is reporting correctly, 124 approximately. So I guess this is accurate for now. Okay, so let's see, 14.3. So if I double this, 41,000, this will go down to 31%. 41,000, 82,000, we'll double again. This will go from 30, you know, I'm just going to do 31% down to 15%. 15% and it's already TBL 30k below this. So this is using some kind of smart APR system, but not by much. So I have to say this has five to 10,000 more shares. So technically it uses smart APR system 1.0, but definitely nothing higher than that. Now, with that being said, you could probably still make good money on this. I think it would be crazy to do the shares because you know that this thing is gonna go down. But it, could, it should stabilize maybe around 60 bucks because assuming this boardroom twop, I guess I can close, wait, I closed the wrong window. Yeah, assuming this boardroom twop, I almost said twop, but it's really twop. <laughs> All right, because you can't see it because I don't know why Brave has some trouble with these tomb forks. But basically I have to highlight it and then right click it. So I'll say search Google for, and then it'll actually tell me what the text says. It actually says 2.3102. So... If it keep, if the, as long as the board room keeps printing, the shares will actually always be worth something. You just have to go on the new Metis blockchain, and if you're willing to deal with all this new crap, yeah, then you could probably actually make okay money, right? But, you know, me personally, I'm just not going to bother with this. All right. I mean, this just has uh, too much, a little too, little too much risk for my liking. Uh, but they have a pretty good followers. Uh, yeah, there's... They even say they're one to one the net here. Four hours ago, the twop is masonry is live. Farm rewards are also live. Genesis pool is over, so they only did a twenty four hour Genesis. That's perfect, right? Because you actually don't you actually don't want that much because you don't want whales coming in and taking complete control of your project like Brando and then pump and dump you. Like you know, that's actually why I prefer stealth launches, right? Because if you're legitimate then I know you're not going to rug pull because that's why you're legitimate, right? So I'd rather have a stealth launch. But, I mean, Genesis is also standard and fine too, so whatever. All right, so I don't really have much more to say. Oh, there you go. There is life in this thing after all. Yeah, someone just bought six minutes ago for a small amount. So uh, so you guys and gals can do whatever you want. I'm not even going to bother linking to the documentation page because it obviously doesn't say anything. Uh, it literally has nothing here. No KYC, no renounce, whatever, which I think is okay. But just bear in mind that this project is literally one to one and a half days old. So you could either put a very little amount of money or you can wait them out, right? And of course, I would avoid these shares, right? I would definitely wait maybe around 60 bucks for the shares, right? Because uh, obviously, I mean, I'm sure the TWAP appears correctly on your browsers, but just make sure the TWAP on this, you got to definitely watch this because if this thing goes below peg, right? Because this, I don't know why this thing is not correct. So, I don't know, they're also doing some kind of manipulation, so whatever, right? As long as this doesn't go below peg, this should be okay. And I don't know what net is, but apparently it's like a stable coin or something. So, I don't know, like as long as we can kind of maintain it, uh, we'll see what happens. I think maybe what they do is they say it's one to one peg and then this thing here, they multiply it by two or something. I, I don't know, 2.3 or whatever. So anyway, check out uh, Repath Finance if you want to uh, you know, go on a completely brand new blockchain. I think your efforts will be uh, rewarded. Just be aware that it's still kind of, you know, in terms of price risk, it's still kind of high. All right. The safer bet would be, oh, well, people are buying shares anyway. So... I mean, it did just have a stupid, crazy dump, so, I mean, it kind of needs to uh, reverse a little bit. But, of course, as always, if I were to do this, I would always do the peg token, all right? But, I don't know, this thing is so new, man. It's like 36 hours old. I mean, they seem to be doing well, so. I don't know, it's up to you. The, you know, content is starting to get a little bit dry, right? So, that's why I'm just covering whatever. So, you know, normally I would wait like a week or two. 
So again, just be very be very aware that this could rug pull, right? In addition to the price risk. So I'm not going to do anything with this, right? I'm not planning to invest in this. I'm happy enough with Peg Maker and whatever. And then now that I just did Ring Financial video, I actually uh, want to get into that instead because I'd rather do Ring Finance than something like this, right? You know, especially if they're going to basically pay out 400,000 APY even for a year, right? Because I because that might just be permanent, right? Because there's no freaking documentation anywhere. It's like, why is everyone so lazy, right? I get to be lazy. Well, I guess that's why everyone's so lazy, because they want to be like me. Uh, see, that's why being lazy is so bad, but... <laughs> oh, well. What are you going to do? All right. Uh, I think I'm definitely done for the day. I got a lot of crap to do. I think I might take tomorrow off, too, because I really need a couple few days breaks, you know? But, I don't know. Just start suggesting some projects, and if I feel like it, if God thinks I should check it out. Obviously, don't just say the project name without telling me anything about it, like, hey, check out XYZ Project, it's a Titanal fork on whatever. If, if you're not going to put any effort in your comment suggestion, then I'm not going to put any effort either. If you put a lot of effort in it, that actually tells me a lot of stuff that I want to know, makes my life easier, then I'll definitely be like, oh, okay, well, I'll definitely read it, all right, and I'll go, okay, does this sound right? It's like, okay, I'll take a look, all right? So it doesn't have to be like a large paragraph, but at least put like two, three sentences that just gives me some basic info, you know, and then I'll, I'll take a look. The only hard part is I don't think you could post links, so I'm not sure. Yeah, you just have to like, yeah, I don't know. I'm sure you'll figure it out, but just give me something to work with and I'll try to look for it. So I don't know, maybe I'll suggest, you specifically have to tell me what kind of project it is, because even if you don't, because if you're not able to give me the website, like what I can do is go on the XYZ site and go, oh, it's a tomb fork. Okay, so I'll go on the tomb fork, which is right here. I'll just control F, right? Make sure your spelling's correct, because I'm not going to dig through. L look how much shit is on here, right? In fact, Brave can't even process it because there's so much shit in here, right? If you tell me it's a Titano fork, okay, then that means I go to the Titano section up here. My stupid camera's car, uh, blocking it. So, you know, you got you to gotta put some effort in, right? Uh, you know. Also, Sub-Zero is supposed to be on the queue, but it's like, I don't even know what's taking that. So I just don't even care about them anymore. So, all right, so that's that. I'll see you whenever, I don't know, maybe tomorrow, but probably, but I would prefer to see you all on Wednesday because I really wouldn't need today, the rest of today and tomorrow off, so. Yeah, like, subscribe, share the video. We're growing very nicely. Again, welcome to all the new people here. I can be kind of a bit of an asshole because, you know, this this is actually me. But I'm really a nice guy. But, I, you know, I have no problem being like Aaron Yeager, you know. So for those of you who watch uh, Attack on Titan, that's that's for all you AOT fans. I, I can't believe it, man. It, like, I always watch comments that say, I love this five-minute episode. It's just it was longer. But the joke is that it actually runs for, like, 20 minutes. Yeah, I actually had that happen to me last night. I finally watched the free uh, episode for us freemium people on Crunchyroll, right? It really did feel like five minutes. It's like, wait, what the hell? The action is just starting this episode. It's like, wait, it's over already? It's like, I was actually, I was like, what the hell? It's like, oh, man. So that's what it feels like to watch a 20-minute episode that actually feels like five minutes. I was like, man, such a great show, man. Yeah, anyway, I'll see you whenever, probably Wednesday, but maybe tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. There's a good possibility I might not even take Wednesday off, but eh, I don't want to be that lazy, right? You know, so... Let me see. What do we have in the content queue? Yeah, we're done with this. I'm watching Dwarf Finance. That's another Titano AVAX fork. They just launched their Twitter, though, so yesterday. So there literally is nothing there. So they'll, I'll check back every week or two and take a look. You know, they look okay. I'll def And then they have an invite contest for the whitelist. I'll obviously do that, too, because I want my whitelist. Because I actually, as much as Caesar is under a lot of pressure, right, Caesar Finance, I would like another one. As long as there's not a Titano fork on Phantom, I don't care what it is. If it's on Phantom, it's a Titano fork. I'm gone. All right. Just look at what look how badly Poseidon is doing. All right. But that's because of their NFT Ocean Project incompetence. I always knew it was a stupid idea, and it's, it's just it's proven to be a stupid idea. That's why the price keeps going down because of those stupid Ocean Project NFT dumpers, and they're required, and they basically have to do it. Otherwise, they lose all their money too. So it's just so stupid. 
So I just want something on, on you know AVAX or even maybe Binance Smart Chain. Though I think Binance Smart Chain is where all the Seifu forks are. So I'd rather do that instead. Yeah, so, you know, I think I'm actually going to actually consider start doing more Seifu forks, right? Because even though it's going to be one year, that's one year where you get to make a lot of money and you just dump the whole thing. But everyone else is thinking the same thing, too. So maybe dump like nine months before or something. Yeah, because I, I, I would not pay $150 for a Seifu token or even $60. It's just way too much, right? I'd rather have like Ring Finance where it's still for like $15.40. And it's essentially the same thing. So... Yeah, all right, rambled on enough. Enjoy the next couple of your days, you know. Uh, see you soon. And, of course, spread the channel around, right? Let's, uh, you know, let's get the community rolling and growing and, you know, whatever we do. Thanks.